Hi. Breath techniques are extremely potent. And so today in this video, I'm gonna share three particular breath techniques, bellows breath, four part breathing, also called box breathing, and Nadi Shodhana. So three particular techniques that come from the yoga tradition that are designed to really stabilize our nervous system. So what I'm finding this time of year, we tend towards heaviness, we t tend towards uh, a bit more lethargy, and yet with the things going on in our current culture, in our current world, there's a lot of anxiety as well layered on top of that. So we're having both sort of lethargy, sadness, but then all this anxiety and worry and fear. And so the mix of this is pretty hard on all of us. So the beautiful part about breath techniques is that not only do they shift our respiratory system, but they help our immune system, um, they help our circulatory system, and they have this beautiful way of not only grounding us, but also elevating us, expanding us. So if you take a shot of espresso, you'll definitely feel the expansive sort of energy component of it, but there may be less grounding. So if you tend towards anxiety, that shot of espresso might not be the best idea. The thing with breath techniques is not only do they expand us, they elevate our prana, they um, give us more energy, but they ground us simultaneously. So you get this stabilizing effect at the same time that you get this beautiful expansive effect as well. So let's move into the practice. We'll start with bellows breath, which is, which is a short inhale through the nose and a short exhale through the nose. The exhale is almost like you're blowing out a candle with your nose, and there's definitely sort of a pumping of the belly in towards the spine as you exhale. We'll, we'll do about 15 to 20 of these, and I like to add a hand position. So as you inhale, arms will extend up, fingers spread. As you exhale through the nose, that sharp exhale, fist come down right at shoulder height. So thumb is in towards the palm, fingers wrap around the thumb. So short inhale. Fingers spread, sharp exhale, fist right at shoulder height, all right? So let's start by just placing the hands down on the tops of the thighs and closing the eyes. Begin by taking just a full deep breath in. And as you exhale, ah, just sigh it out. Start to settle into your seat, into your pelvis. Another nice deep breath in. Ah, exhale, settle. So as we start any breath practice or any yoga practice for that matter, it's essential for us to begin to make contact with the body and begin to ground our energy down. So feeling our seat, feeling your shins, your feet, whatever's touching the floor right now. And before we even start the practice, taking a moment to just get a baseline of how you're feeling physically. Be noticing if your body feels heavy and lethargic or a little antsy, angsty. And then also take a moment to get just a baseline of your mind and your heart. So your thoughts, your feelings. Again, does your mind feel scattered? Do you feel a little foggy? It's always helpful for us to engage in self-study and any of these practices so that we can actually see and acknowledge the effects that they have on us post-practice. All right, so one more deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. We'll start the bellows breath now. So starting with fist right at shoulder height, fingers wrapped around the thumb. Sharp inhale, sharp exhale. So keep going. As you exhale, really pulling the fist down towards the shoulders. So every exhale has this way of grounding you. Every inhale sort of expands your energy and lifts you. Let's do three more of these. Three, two, one. Drop your hands down now to your thighs or you can maintain your fist, grounding your fist towards the earth. Take a nice deep breath in. As you inhale, track that awareness all the way up to the crown of the head. And as you exhale, awareness moves from your crown back down into your pelvis. Let's do this a couple more times, inhaling up the spine to the crown. 
exhale from the crown back down into the pelvis so just your awareness moving up and down the spine as you inhale up the spine you might even feel a slight pelvic lift exhale awareness moving back down in the spine into the pelvis All right on this next inhale gently blink the eyes open come off of your seat place your props or whatever you've used to sit on off to the side and begin the process of slowly coming down. I like to come down um, with a little bit of engagement of the core, so arms parallel to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, start to round through the spine, tuck the chin, and slowly roll all the way down onto your back. As you arrive on your back, place your hands gently on your abdomen, feet hip distance width apart. Observe where your body's touching the earth, your feet, your pelvis, your mid-back, your shoulder blades, your elbows, and the back of your head. And then tune into the touch of your hands on your abdomen right now. And as you inhale, slowly feel the belly lift and expand. As you exhale, feel the belly soften and release. So keep your breath moving a little deeper here with your awareness staying in the belly, the hands rising and lifting with the inhale and the hands softening with the exhale. We often call this diaphragmatic breathing, belly breathing, soft belly breathing. But the focus here is on taking the breath into the belly rather than breathing into the chest, which is when we're chest breathing, we're often in a state of stress. And now to this deep belly breathing, we'll add one more component, which is a slight retention of the breath. I'm gonna call this four part breathing or box breathing. It is a technique from the yoga tradition, but it's now taught in the military as well because the research is showing it's so good at calming the nervous system. So the way box breathing works is you breathe in over the count of four, you hold the breath for a count of four, you exhale for a count of four, and then you hold the breath out for a count of four. So let's start together. Whatever breath is in your lungs, completely blow it out now. And then inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold out, two, three, four, again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold out, two, three, four, one more. Inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four, hold out. Two, three, four. Big inhale as you stretch your arms up overhead. And then big exhale as your arms come back down to the side of the body. So we're gonna keep working with a bellows breath but add some movement here. So again, let's start together by blowing out all the air in the lungs and then together inhale, two, three, lifting those arms up overhead, hold the breath. Exhale, arms come back down to the side of the body and then hold the breath out. Let's keep going here. Inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four, hold. Couple more, inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four, hold. Last one, inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four, hold out. Again, big inhale, float the arms up. Big exhale. 
We'll add a little bit more movement. So inhale, knees to chest, arms float up overhead. Three, four, hold, two, three, four. Exhale, legs straight into the sky, arms float back down to the earth. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, knees bend, arms stretch up overhead. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, bridge pose, hips lift up. Arms come back down to the side of the body. Hold, two, three, four. Stay in bridge. Inhale, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, come down, three, four. Hold out, two, three, four. Again, inhale, knees to chest, arms stretch up overhead, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, straighten the legs, arms come back down to the side of the body. Hold out, two, three, four. Inhale, knees bend, feet to the floor, arms stretch up overhead. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, lift the hips up, bridge pose. As you hold bridge, hold the breath out. Three, four, inhale, keep the pose, stay in the pose, hold the breath, and then exhale, two, three, four, hold out, two, three, four. Big inhale, float the arms up overhead, feel that nice stretch through your spine. Exhale, hands come back down to the side of the body. And once again, just rest the palms on the abdomen. Breathing into the hands, noticing how your breath has naturally begun to slow down and regulate. So again, when we are in stressful situations or we just have anxious thoughts, our breathing can get a little reversed. So we start to breathe more shallow, more in the chest. And what we're doing is just retraining our body to go back to its natural state of deep diaphragmatic belly breathing. One more set of box breathing, inhaling, two, three, four, hold the breath. Exhale, two, three, four, hold out the breath. All right, on this next inhale now, roll over onto your right side and slowly come back up to your seat. Find something to sit on, so I'm a big fan of elevating the hips. So sitting up on a pillow or a bolster, some blocks. All right, so our bellows breath sort of stimulated and grounded us at the same time. The four part breathing, the box breathing, started to really calm the nervous system. You also got some movement flowing through the body. So now we're gonna end with Nadi Shodhana, which is alternative nostril breathing. This is not only calming the system, but it's starting to sort of balance the two hemispheres of the brain. So this is a great um, breath to take into a work day, or if you need to have a challenging conversation, this really balances um, the left and right sides of the brain. So this is a breath where we usually use a mudra or hand position. Pointer finger, middle finger, using the right hand, can be placed right at the forehead. Your thumb will close off your left nostril, and your ring finger will close off your right nostril. So sit tall, make sure your spine is nice and tall. And we're gonna again start together by blowing out all the air in the lungs. And then close off the right nostril as you inhale up the left side. The top of the breath, pause, switch fingers, and exhale down the right nostril. Inhaling up the right nostril pausing at the top, exhaling down the left side. So that is one full round. We'll do it again, inhaling up the left nostril, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale down the right side, three, four, hold out, two, three, four, inhale up the right, three, four, hold, two, 
three, four. Exhale down the left side and then hold out. Let's do one more set. Inhaling up the left side. Hold. Switch fingers. Exhale down the right side. Hold out. Inhaling up the right side. Hold. Exhale down the left. Release the fingers, nice deep breath in, tracking awareness from pelvis up to the crown. Exhale, back down into the pelvis. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Very brief practice, but take a moment to notice sensation in the body, maybe noticing a more vibrant, energetic body. And also noticing the state of the mind, hopefully more clear, more settled, more focused. Namaste.